Welcome back YouTube Pipe Smokers, Mutton Chop Piper here. Well today's video is entitled The Advanced Breath Method. Now this video is for pretty much everyone and uh, before we get started I want to advise those if this is your first video that you've seen of mine um, there are two other videos about um, trying to learn the breath method of smoking a pipe um, I'd advise you to go to those first because this is sort of an advanced tutorial and that is sort of a beginner tutorial now I know that I harp on the breath method probably far too much but it's it's such a, a wonderful way to smoke your pipe that, um, that I just kinda can't leave it alone uh, so why am I doing this advanced breath method? Well, there's a, there's a way of teaching people how to do things. Now this is my, my opinion. I have not been to school to learn this or anything. It's just my opinion. So, when you try to teach someone something, it doesn't matter what it is, you want to just teach the basics. Teach them enough to where they can master whatever it is that you're trying to teach them. Don't give more information than uh, than they need because there is such a thing called uh, too much information. Um, so in my first two breath method uh, videos I, I, I tried to keep it as basic as possible so that you could learn how to master smoking your pipe using the breath method. Now for those that have mastered that some of the things I'm going to be talking about you probably have already discovered on your own but I'm going to discuss them in case there's some people that haven't really discovered what I'm about to tell you. Okay so now First, let's let's look at three different three different things that people smoke. Let's look at cigarettes. Okay, so when people smoke cigarettes, um, now I'm just going off of what people that smoke cigarettes tell me. Um, for some, the taste is wonderful. For some, there is no taste. Um, so basically when you smoke a cigarette you put it to your mouth you draw it in draw it into your lungs and then you blow it out okay so let's look at that mechanic draw it in draw it in blow it out um, in a cigar uh, some people inhale it some people don't you kind of put it in your mouth and you uh, you draw it in, you blow it out. You draw it in, you blow it out. Uh, some people uh, don't blow it out, but most that I've seen do. But cigars are a little bit more nuanced than cigarettes because uh, I don't know. It's it's more of a it's also a relaxation. To me, cigarettes are not relaxing. Uh, now, they are relaxing to those that are addicted to them because they are going through withdrawal. And once they start smoking the cigarette, they relax because the withdrawal is being satisfied. Cigar smokers, they smoke, you know, for the taste, they smoke for the, for the relaxation of it and uh, 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 basically just you know to have something to smoke. Now pipe smokers or smoking a pipe is different from those two. Smoking a pipe is more like um, sucking on a sucker go to the store you get uh, you get a uh, a Tootsie Pop 
you unwrap it, you stick it in your mouth, and it sort of sits there. And you just kind of suck on it all day, and, and it just sort of sits there until you're ready to, to chew on. Pipe smoking is more like that than it is actually smoking a cigar or smoking cigarettes. And let me explain to you why. Once you learn the breath method, as you stick the pipe into your mouth, you're breathing in and out through your nose, and your pipe is in your mouth. There have been times where I have... Okay, let's, let's go back. As you breathe in and you breathe out, you, you pull or you draw slightly on the stem, delivering small portions of smoke and then you force that smoke back through the pipe okay so there have been times where I have been smoking a pipe and I never send any smoke out of my mouth it's basically I just breathe in through my nose small sip in out through my nose the sip goes back through the pipe now that's the basic mechanic of it so what's the advanced part the advanced part is how you can control how the pipe operates so you know that when you light the pipe you've got an ember and the ember burns and it burns down uh, down toward um, the bottom of the pipe so if you're let's say that we're let's say that you're smoking your pipe and you get kind of lost in something you're watching a TV show or you're reading a book or or something is holding your attention and you're not paying attention to what you're doing so after a while the breath method will come naturally and you will breathe in sip breathe out blow back through sip in blow back through well if you get excited, maybe your breath, your breathing increases, and the amount that you draw increases as well. Well, when you do that, all of a sudden your pipe gets hot, and you start feeling a burning sensation on your tongue. So then you're like, oh no. So how do you correct that without taking the pipe out of your mouth and say, okay, I'm just going to set it aside and let it sit there? What you do <clears throat> is as you breathe in, you don't draw on the pipe. As you breathe out, you force some air back through the stem. What that does is the act of drawing causes that ember to, uh, uh, to grow, to kind of get uh, brighter as it burns more of the fuel, which is the tobacco. Well, if you just blow back through, it's not causing that ember to glow or to uh, burn any more of the fuel as uh, of the fuel which is tobacco you're basically letting you're keeping the ember lit but you're not increasing the amount of heat that it produces thusly it will cool your pipe down so what I do is if I find if I reach up there and oh man it's hot I will stop drawing in as I breathe in but I will force some air back through the stem so in nothing out force through in nothing out force through in nothing out force through eventually the pipe will cool your pipe will cool. Once it cools to being instead of hot, it becomes warm, then you resume. In, sip in. Out, blow back through. In, sip in. Out, blow back through. That way you can control the heat. You can control how much heat your bowl produces. Uh, and, and that's fantastic. That's, that's one of the best parts of the breath method I really like is 
the fact that I can control how the pipe reacts to me smoking it. Um, a lot of people think when you get a pipe, you put it in your mouth, you light it up, and you treat it like a cigarette. You draw it in and blow it out. Draw it in and blow it out. Draw it in and blow it out. And then all of a sudden they're like, man, this thing's giving me tongue bite. I've got a burnout. I have my pipe burnout, big hole in the side of it. Uh, it got so hot I couldn't even touch it. Well, that's why you never treat your pipe like you do a cigarette. Always treat your pipe like a sucker. Stick it in your mouth and you lightly, lightly draw on it as you breathe in and force air through as you breathe out of your nose. And then if the pipe gets too hot, stop sipping in and just force the air through. Stop sipping in and force the air through. That way, you can always control the heat that your pipe produces. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And until my next video, I want to wish you and your family happy piping.